Hello fellow collectors, thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium video. Today, as you can see, we are zoomed all the way out because we have a rather large box. And this is the 150th scale Fire Replicas 2012 Seagrave Attacker 95 foot Tower Ladder FDNY Tower Ladder 12. The SKU for this model, FR009-12. The MSRP price currently for this model is $449. You can still pick these up from the Fire Replicas website as of the date I am filming this video. I'll put a link down in the description below. If you want one, don't wait because only 40 have been made. All right, with the preliminary data out of the way, let's go ahead and get through the unboxing process. Here's the Fire Replicas logo. Uh, if you've never had a Fire Replicas model, there's a very specific step-by-step -step way to unbox one of these to ensure the safety of your model. I'll show you how to do that now. So what you're going to do is flip open the box like so. You will need to remove all of the different pieces of uh, foam first. And that, this is actually a step-by-step -step guide, but we're not going to waste time reading that. I'm explaining it to you now. But again, make sure you take all of the protection pieces out of the box first. So there should be a total of five, one on each of the four sides, and then, of course, the one that sits on the top piece. Grab this hook out carefully here. All right, and hopefully with the camera being zoomed all the way out, you can now see at least the top of the truck and the black ribbons. Those ribbons are basically lifting straps. So you grab a hold of the ribbons, make sure that it is secure, lift straight up, and your model will come out of the box. Allow me to move the box here for just a second. Now, you can get rid of the black ribbons for now. You can take them out from underneath the model. So basically now you're left with the acrylic case, the base, and then the model itself. To remove the acrylic case, Lift, again, straight up very, very carefully. And the case does have this bit of uh, protection around it, this sticker-like material. You can remove that if you want, totally up to you. I tend just to leave mine on, but again, collector preference. And then the last piece of packaging to remove is this little piece of protective paper that sits right up on top of the tower ladder. And with that done... Your model is free from the box, and the unboxing is complete. Okay, now we're going to go step by step through all of the details that can be found on this unbelievable scale model replica. It, it, I can't explain this to you enough, guys. These models look so good in person, it's really hard to imagine that you are looking at a replica. It really does look like the real truck. Now, Fire Replicas models are not functional. Again, nothing functions on this model, nor is it intended to function, so don't try to raise the ladder, drop the outriggers, open any doors, etc., uh, etc. Et These are meant to be of the utmost highest quality in terms of just a model that is made to be admired and looked at. All right, again, let's start with going over some of the details. I'm sure there are some that I will miss, but I will try to do my very, very best. First couple things I want to point out, if we look at the top of the cab, you can see the uh, antennas as well as the uh, AC grates. So here are some of the AC grates. Here's the antennas. Uh, as you can see, obviously, we have some lights here as well. Let's move to the front of the, of the rig, of the apparatus. Obviously, you have a large number 12 for the company number, both on the stainless steel grill and also on the the red part, the bottom of the bumper. These two devices that kind of look like jack stands, for lack of a better term, they really are. They're known as outriggers or stabilizers. On tower ladders, typically there are a total of six stabilizers or outriggers. There's two in the front, one on each side behind the rearmost axle, and then two large ones here and here, the ones that look like an, a giant L. The idea is that the, the smaller ones would go down first, lift the truck off the ground a bit, and then the larger ones would deploy down and completely lift, lift the apparatus off of the ground. It's the same principle if you have a crane or even a backhoe. The, the idea is to stabilize the rig so that the aerial ladder can be operated safely without fear of the truck tipping over. All right, continuing. I should have stayed at the front, but forgive me, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there. 
Uh, if you look inside the truck, it might be pretty difficult to pick up on camera. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this to show you guys. So I'll, you'll just have to take my word for it. The detailed interior is so well done that the back of the headrests on the seats have the FDNY logo on them, which I think is unbelievably cool. Speaking of stainless steel pieces, we have the steps here. Obviously, you want to be careful when climbing into one of these trucks, so we've got steps all over the place. Moving along now to the side, the details continue. This orange piece is what's known as a Stokes basket or a rescue basket. They've gone as far as to include a uh, large water cooler. Obviously, water and staying hydrated during a fire is critically important. And then you have Dirty Dozen written out on one of the, the main um, hydraulic rams that would operate the tower ladder. You also have Tower Ladder 12 on the steel ladder signs. Usually those are all um, specific to whatever ladder company in New York City and really throughout the world. Uh, we have cables on both sides, including a warning label, which you may not be able to see on camera, but there's a yellow warning label. Uh, different lights here. Another great detail that I appreciate because it's the smaller stuff that I think really make these models come alive. You can see the different grab handles here as you're gaining access to climb up to get into the bucket of the truck. So let's now move to the rear. Generally speaking, there are three different types of aerial trucks that are used by most fire departments in New York City included. You have this one, which is a tower ladder. You have a rear mount aerial ladder, typically 95 or 100, up to 105 foot. And then there's a TDA known as a tractor-drawn aerial. That's the kind of the tractor-trailer type uh, ladder truck you may be familiar with. But the advantage of using a tower ladder is this is used to rescue people for the most part. Uh, and also you can spray with this nozzle here, you can spray a high volume of water into a building that's on fire. Uh, and obviously that's always imperative when you're trying to extinguish a blaze. On the back, you have the shackles as well, more diamond plate and texturing, the lights, more warning labels. If you look right here, there's a license plate on the bucket, which hopefully if I can get just right, is a New York license plate with Dirty Dozen on it. I know it's a little hard to see, but we gotta have to work with what we have to work with. Looking from the top down, inside the bucket, you'll find the controls. You'll find some more tools, like a, I believe that's a Halligan tool, uh, some pi traffic cones, pylons, whatever you wanna call them, lights. Obviously this is your ladder, and you've already seen the top of the front. Moving it around to the right side. There's a couple more details here uh, that I want to point out. The yellow piece is an extractor fan. Obviously you would put that into a smoky building and help get the, the smoke out so you can see better. Uh, here's the other side of the Stokes basket as well. The incredible decals on this model continue. Down here we have dial 911 to report a fire. Uh, Fire Department of New York, even warning labels on the outriggers and jacks, which I think is super cool. We have the exhaust, which exits right here. Some fire extinguishers and even more impressive diamond plate texturing work all throughout. So, last thing I want to point out about this model before we get to the conclusion are the model dimensions, because I know a lot of people care about those. So the dimensions of the model itself, not including the base, are 11 inches long, 2.5 inches wide by 2.75 inches tall. If you would like to leave the model on the base as it is intended to be, to be done, that brings your measurements up to 15.5 inches long, 6 inches wide by 5.25 inches tall. So in conclusion, the Fire Replicas 150 scale FDNY Tower Ladder 12, which is a 2012 Seagrave Attacker, 95 foot, uh, tower ladder. This is a beautiful model, as are every fire replicas piece uh, that I have ever seen. They are not inexpensive, but again, as the old adage goes, you get what you pay for, and that is certainly the case with this. These are beautiful trucks, and certainly anyone that is a fan of the fire department or fire apparatus would absolutely, I would, I would put my name next to it, absolutely encourage you to pick one of these up. And again, only 40 have been made. So if you've been thinking about getting one, don't waste any time. Pick one up for sure. 
All right, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe to us. And if you look at our screen right now, you'll see a couple other links for some recently filmed Fire Replicas videos. So definitely check those out as well. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.